Welcome to our Harbor Highlights. Today is Friday, January 26th. On today's show, we have an interview with Ms. Mr. Hicks and a fun Peel Paragraph song. This and more, so stay tuned. Hi, I'm Sam. And I'm O'Brien. It's been a crazy few weeks with the extra snow days, and the amazing race was a fun way to start off the new marking period. As we continue the new year, it's a good time to start some new habits for success. Last week, we talked about being on time for in for class and avoiding those tardy sweeps. For this week, think about your screen time. Here is it. Here are a few simple habits to help. Put your phone away at least 30 minutes before you plan to go to sleep. Then that will help you get better sleep as well. Another easy thing to do is to turn off your phone notifications. Rather than get tempted to check your phone when you get an alert, you choose when to check your phone without the constant notifications. Finally, respect your phone free time. This is during the school day and during family time. Take back your power from the device. Um, devices that try to dominate your time and choose to be fully present to your school, friends, and family. Now, this, now for this general announcement. Hi, I'm Ellery. And I'm Kenzie. We have many clubs and activities. Make sure to read the daily announcements for the latest updates and look at the screen for something that might sound good to you. The Pride Store is happening today during lunch. Student Council is meeting next Wednesday in room A131. Don't miss it. The next service event for Friday night dinner is February 16th for National Junior Honor Society members. Sign up in Google Classroom. The yearbook cover contest is happening now and your design can make this year's cover. Make sure to include Harbor Lights in 2023 to 2024. Designs must be portrait layout and can be hand-drawn or computer-generated. Now back to the anchors. Thanks for those announcements. At all good levels, the ELA teachers use an acronym peel to teach how to organize a paragraph or essay. Here is an interview with Mr. Hick Hicks and a fun way for you to remember how to write a peel paragraph. My name is Jackson and we are interviewing Mr. Hicks about peel paragraphs. What is a peel paragraph? So a peel paragraph is a way to organize your writing. Um, it comes in four parts. So we start with the point and then add in some evidence, an explanation, and then a link. Why do we do peel, peel paragraphs? So a peel paragraph is just a way to organize your writing. Um, not every paragraph is in a peel format. When you read things in newspapers, um, you might see that they do it in a different way. This is just a nice, easy format. So when you're in class, everybody's kind of learning it to do, learning to do it the same way. Um, it makes it a little bit more convenient, a little easier to understand. What is the most common problem students do when writing peel paragraphs? So I would say that the most common problem is finding evidence. Um, I think a lot of students get tripped up on finding quotes, um, ways to include those in your text. So when we're going through these, you'll notice your teachers are doing a lot of uh, front loading, which means they're doing a lot of extra work to help you notice some things in the text before you're actually writing anything. What else can students do to improve peel paragraphs? So once students have a good handle on the format, they're doing a pretty good job of finding their evidence, giving some explanations, students can start improving that by including extra information, uh, maybe finding another way to prove their point um, before they get down to their link and summarizing it all. Um, students might also look to see how they can balance their paragraphs. Sometimes you end up with those really big quotes and then just a tiny little bit of uh, explanation. It'd be good to balance that out a little bit more so you are analyzing a little bit more in your explanation and not quite relying on the evidence. Thank you, Mr. Hicks, for teaching us how to write peel paragraphs and Max for recording. From the reading, I will write the answer. That's my point. Now on to step two. In the paragraph, it states here I copy. Put it in quotes, that's it. Now move to three. This quote reveals the point I'm trying to make. Explain it so clearly readers won't mistake. It's now so clear the point I'm trying to make. Just in case you missed it, I'll tell you once again. Jalen rushed into class and slammed her things on the desk just after the tardy bell. The teacher shook her head and did not seem surprised. My bus was late and my locker wouldn't open, Jalen blurted out. Yahaira looked at the teacher and said, I saw her hanging out with her friends in the cafeteria before school. 
Jalen rushed into class and slammed her things on the desk just after the tardy bell. The teacher shook her head and did not seem surprised. My bus was late and my locker wouldn't open, Jalen blurted out. Yahaira looked at the teacher and said, I saw her hanging out with her friends in the cafeteria before school. Based on the excerpt, can Jalen be trusted or not? From the reading, Jalen cannot be trusted by the teacher. Did she answer the prompt? Yes, she answered the prompt, saying Jalen cannot be trusted. In paragraph 1 it states, the teacher shook her head and did not seem surprised. Was a quote and its location given supporting the point? Yes, she gave a quote from the text with the paragraph number. This quote reveals that Jalen walks in late often and the teacher was not shocked. Was the quote explained as to how it supports the point? Yes, she explained the quote and how it helps to support the answer to the prompt. It is clear that since Jalen is commonly late that her excuse is not to be trusted. Was the point restated in different words? Yes, she restated the answer to the prompt in different words. Way to go on writing that peel paragraph. From the reading, I will write the answer. That's my point now, on to step two. In the paragraph, it states here I copy. Put it in quotes, that's it, now move to three. This quote reveals the point I'm trying to make. Explain it so clearly, readers won't mistake. It's now so clear the point I'm trying to make. Just in case you missed it, I'll tell you once again. Peel is a great way to organize, organize your ideas into a paragraph that logically will present the point with evidence to back it up. Make sure to provide the explanation that clearly connects how the evidence supports the point. Now over to sports. Thanks, I'm Will. And I'm Jeff. Please see the screen for all the games. For girls basketball, the 8th and 7th grade black teams are home against Pinewood and only 8th grade Wednesday against Cityside. The 8th grade white team is home Wednesday against Cityside. All 7th grade white team games are away. Wrestling has a meet next Tuesday at Granville and Thursday at Jenison. Boys swim and dive have a home meet Thursday. As long as Bittersweet is open, Ski and Snowboard Club is planning on going this Friday, so sign up in the library or in this postman with your $10 for the bus. Go Panthers. Back to the... Students did such a great job at the assembly on Words Matter. It was a very impactful way to hear about how, as even, a, even as adults, the words that were said to them at your age affected them. We can't cover up hurtful words and just say it was a joke because it might not be a joke to the person on the receiving end. When you stop yourself from saying something that might be a hurtful, you are making a difference and are taking back the power of your voice. We can be a place at Harbor Lights where we build others up, show we care, and choose to say words that have a positive impact on others. We want our words to be what someone remembers as was the encouragement to reach a goal, feel connected, and to know they matter. We hope you know it, it but students at Harbor Lights, you matter, and we are so glad you are here. We are part of we are part of, Har a, of the Harbor Lights family, and we are all West Ottawa Panthers. So don't forget, be the best Panther you can be. Be respectful, be responsible, make good choices, and as always, go well! Go well. Yay!